Getting an education on student loans at the Capitol with heavy impacts on students and co-signers, state lawmakers are looking to ease the burden and educate families with a package of eight new bills. Capitol correspondent Amel Taliji detailing some of these bills what lawmakers hope to see for the future of New York's loan payment options. People don't have the right information. They get put into a program that actually is not in the best interest for them. It disqualifies them from other types of student loan programs. And it's a complete mess. Senator Andrew Gennardis says his bill is simple. He wants to provide college graduates with the resources they need to pay off their loans. This is some really basic streamlined information. You know, here are resource numbers. Here's where you should go to ask for help. Here are the folks you should be talking to. Here are the websites to be, to be looking at. Uh, and this way they have a place to start their process from. Senator Kevin Thomas says these eight bills are a continuation of what lawmakers started in 2019 with the Student Borrower Bill of Rights. He wants to extend those same rights to co-signers who are often forgotten. He says he can do this by holding lenders accountable. Especially when they go after these parents and grandparents, they have to disclose who they are, how much uh, money is owed, how many payments were made, how to get out of being a co-borrower because uh, that has not been discussed before. And some lawmakers hope to see these issues dealt with on a federal level. Senate Majority Leader Andrea Stewart-Cousin says, while we wait for student debt relief from Washington, these bills make substantial steps to provide financial aid assistance and set our students up for success now and in the future. Reporting at the Capitol, Amel Taleji.